Good day, everybody. My name is Iman Zari. So today I'm going to cook uh, original Persian recipe. My actually is my grandma's recipe is uh, tachin. We call it tachin. So tachin is a uh, rice cake, if you want to translate it into English, and which is we usually eat it when we have special occasions like weddings or if, if special guest comes home. So I hope you enjoy it and learn something from this cooking. Uh, as for ingredients, we have non-sticky rice, so particularly I have chosen jasmine rice. We got chicken, so you can choose any part of chicken you like. Particularly, again, I have chosen here breast and thigh chicken. We got yogurt and onion and garlics as it's required. And some spices including black and red pepper, turmeric, and the most expensive spice in the world, which is saffron, some salt, egg and vegetable oils and of course the final trick would be rose water so first we have to wash our rice so to wash off all the dust from the rice I usually do it two or three times So after the washing, so I have uh, left some water on the top of the rice in the pot. So for this amount of rice, which is uh, 10, uh, 10 cups of rice we are cooking today, we need at least three tablespoons of salt. So we soak it for 15 minutes. So three tablespoons of salt. So we dissolve it and keep this aside for 15 minutes. We place the chicken in the pot. So I put the chicken in the pot. For 10 cups of rice, we need one to 1.5 kilograms of chicken. So I guess that would be enough. Then we peel the onion. Three medium-sized onion would be enough for this amount of chicken and add some garlic. Then some salt, and turmeric. One tablespoon of turmeric, it's enough. Of course, depends on the quality of turmeric. And add some water till it covers all the chicken. Yeah. And we will place it on the stove to be cooked. It takes maybe 30 minutes for this amount of chicken to cook. We will leave it on. I guess 15 minutes passed. Now we can start cooking our rice. So what I do is uh, boil uh, some amount of water. Once the water comes to the boil, now it's time to add our rice into the boil, boiling water. So I'm going to add it gradually. Uh, while boiling, you may see that on the top of your water, it would be foamy. So it's a grandma trick. We have to remove the, the foam because this foam will have, will give not good flavor to the rice later on. Okay, from time to time we check our rice. So to see if our rice is parboiled, we take one grain and we'll squeeze it between our fingers. If we don't feel any hardness like now, so it means that rice is already parboiled. So that's the time, so we need to uh, sieve it, sieve the rice. and also gives the rice less stickiness as well while you are washing it. Chicken is ready. Now we should take it off from the heat. And I will remove the chicken and let it to cool down. Take the chicken out of the pot. 
So we will let it to cool down and then we will remove the bone from the chicken. Once the chicken is cooled down, so now we are going to shred it. And once we are done with shredding chicken, so on the other side our rice is ready. So this is the final steps. We have to mix all the ingredients together and put it back on the stove for our dish to get ready. To give the better taste to our tachin. So what I did, I picked the onion and the garlic from the broth and add also, I will add some broth into it, smash it and add with other ingredients. Later on I will show it. I'm adding some broth. Start smashing them. I boiled some water, so for the saffron, for almost one tablespoon saffron, I add almost around half a cup or maybe one cup even, but not more. Boiled rice, uh, boiled water, sorry. And I will keep it aside for a few minutes that it gives proper and good color to our food. And for final step, we have our shredded chicken. We have our parboiled rice ready. So all we need now to mix the ingredients and let it cook. So I'm going to add yogurt. I guess that's enough. A pinch of turmeric, only a pinch. Almost a pinch of black pepper and same amount of red pepper. Salt. One tablespoon. So we'll crack our eggs into the rest of ingredients. Half a cup of oil. So now I'm going to mix them all together. So plus saffron. The smashed onion and garlic also I'm going to add till we get a homogenized liquid almost a homogenized liquid chicken we'll mix all ingredient well now it's ready it's time to put it back on the oven our tachin is ready to go back on the stove we'll put the flame on the medium low so it may it may take around 20 to 30 minutes for our dish to be ready. Okay. 10 minutes after our dish is on the stove already, so I'm going to add some rose water. So maybe around three tablespoons would be enough. So that's enough. Again, put the lid back. Then after adding your um, rose water, so what I'm going to do is to cover the lid with a towel or at the cloth or whatever you have at home. So because once it starts steaming, I don't want the steam goes back to the dish. So it will absorb all, all the water. Now 45 minutes passed. So our food is ready. What I'm going to do is to make a dish, to invert the dish into this tray. 
supposedly it should look like a cake from another side. It has to be golden brown in color. Now our dish is done. This is how it looks. I hope you liked it and I hope you will have time to try this dish at home. I bet you will enjoy it. So, and we, this is the way we usually serve it in a plate. Yeah. And garnish it with parsley and also if you have barberry at home, that would be great. Now, here you go. I hope you will find time and try this food at home and enjoy this beautiful, good-looking Persian tachin. Mm, yummy.